Hello and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon, where we are in the Venus Ponds Park, which, um, well, at least there are ponds. Uh, I do not know if this is Venus. I thought Venus was much more uh, with a gassy atmosphere. But then again, I've never been there. So what do I know, right? Anyway, uh, last time we uh, built ourselves these two coasters and right before we left off, we uh, made these paired up, synchronized them with the adjacent stations. So we don't know what that will affect the ratings or how it will affect the ratings, I should say. But we are going to find that out pretty soon. Now, we do know that the Dark Judiciary is the better coaster. <laughs> That's only because of our uh, yeah, a very rose-colored budget, right? Now, if we take a look at the finances, we can see that uh, we're basically spending a lot. Uh, but we're also getting a lot. So, it seems good, however... I think that in, like, uh, the start of April or something, like, just when March is done... We're going to cut uh, the prices of our rides. So we only have like a, a few moments um, left with the good finances. And then we're going to take a hit to our income. But I do hope that, you know, the second coaster that we've built over here uh, is going to bring in quite the additional bit of cash. So we shouldn't be hit too hard. Now, also, in case you're wondering what I did with the cars or yeah, the cars of this, uh, no, of, uh, of the second coaster, the uh, Recombobulator, I have given it uh, the exact same colors as its neighbor. So then when you see two cars going up of the exact same color, you can also track um, and where they are on the uh, on the coaster and compare them in terms of like uh, which one's quicker, you know. I thought that'd be a cool feature. I also pretty much know the answer to um, to that thing and I think that, that like uh, this one um, we'll probably be to the station just right now. It will not be quicker to the station. That's interesting. So this coaster is actually slower. Huh. I did not expect that. Maybe that is because the Dark Judicial has like a three kilometers higher top speed. That's, that's like, uh, it's like 15% faster or something. So that's actually quite a lot. <laughs> I mean, it might only see it might not seem like much three kilometers, but it is quite a lot. Now, what we should also do is a pricing check. Uh, we might have done that at the end of last video. I kind of forgot, uh, but it does seem that we do not need to adjust any pricing. So for now, we're basically good. You know, all the rides are priced adequately, so then it's a matter of uh, you know, budget. Now, there's two ways we can go. I do believe that we've set the research to thrill rides, so have we gotten any? This all seems like the exact same stuff that we started out with, so I don't think so. This is new. We don't have the log fume. We could definitely build that too. Not right now with our current budget, but if we are gonna build this, I kind of want to build this uh, on the water. So that means over here, and if we're gonna do that, that means expanding the path. But I feel that to be kind of wasteful as we have path of space over here that's unoccupied, and I don't feel like expanding even further yet. So I think what we should do instead is uh, go to plan B, and that is add like... Tower or the Garvatron, you know, one one of the two. And then also add, like, the bumper cars, because we don't have that. So we'll add those two down there. And then in terms of coasters, we're going to do this coaster. The suspended single rail. Because it's cheap, and I think we can get away with building one, despite not having any money. Yeah, that's how highly I rate our uh, our finances at the moment. What we're also going to do is uh, we're going to add a few guests to the park. So you, guest number 904, you are going to be my wife, Luigi. There, and that should save your name at least. And um, you have, ooh, look, you, you are the one who can stand all the rides. You will be feeling right at home over here. 
Then uh, this will be uh, Icaro Veloso. Then what the? Oh, you're you're just the average uh, average bloke. That's all right though. And then we have like one more I see, and that's guest nine oh six again. Also seventy bucks, pretty good, pretty good. And this will be Brad Baker there. And that, wow, there's even more guests coming. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna do all the names uh, at once, because then then we'll really get crazy with the message spam. But yeah, you can see uh, we already have quite quite a few guests, including the devil. <laughs> Uh, in the park, so uh, yeah. Good. Well, I guess it's time to um, get down and get back to business. I also kind of want to leave this little lake open so that we can add jet skis or rowing attractions. We might also do that over there. I think this is too big to do so because I want efficiency, and then uh, these two lakes are like perfect for it. Yeah, as for this, if I were to place it over here. It would be in the same height as all the other paths. And that's, that's not a bad thing. But I don't want the queue over here to be too long. And I do want to hook it up over there. That's pretty much a, a must. We could also heighten the whole thing up if we place it over here. But I think that would look stupid. So we're going to place it there. Yes. And then basically this is just going to be above the water. Right, let's see here. What can we do? Uh, well, <laughs> for starters, we'll we'll do that, uh, and also that. Oh, and also that. You know, <laughs> as if that is a surprise. Uh, but to be honest, you know, the uh, th this is like the second last part, guys. I'm really, really looking forward to like the last one, and then being able to say. I've done it. I've finished the game for once. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, uh, bumper cars. Uh, what are we going to name this even? I mean, the flying saucer one. Uh, ooh. Maybe. Hmm, I don't know. A space, space typey name, right? Why don't we call this uh, the. Uh, yeah, we can call this Sagittarius. And that is uh, named after a space-type phenomenon. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> Did you hear that? Uh, that might be from the uh, from the Haunting Mansion, actually. At times, that does make noises. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't even knew that could happen. Uh, what we are going to do is uh, we're going to have this play space music. I don't want uh, Dodger music here. You know. uh, but n now that this is named Sagittarius, Yep. I mean, I'm sorry, I could not resist. And then we'll have light blue be the, uh, you know, the uh, horizon, basically, the observation horizon, or maybe even white. Or, to make it even worse, yeah. I mean, if, if we call this, uh, you know, after, uh, after this space phenomenon, this has to be the color. <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with the space stuff, <laughs> try and guess what type of space phenomenon this would be, huh? <laughs> anyway, I also have to do this. So, uh, I kind of like the uh, speeding up of this. So, uh, guess what we're going to do? Right, and that's done. So, yeah, look. I, I hope that you can actually see a thing of this. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, yeah, you know, it, that they're all basically white with their own twist. So, having said that, uh, I guess the first thing that we uh, also need to do is uh, set up, uh, like, the actual queue path. Because right now, we basically cannot have the guests enter. Now you, we could zigzag over here uh, a little, uh, we're not. So that's basically the way it will be. And um, let's uh, open for business. Now another thing is uh, the Garvitron. And I mean, just the name Garvitron by itself is already very space-like. So. But I, I also feel like over here with the coaster track is like uh, the way this should face. You know? So there we have it. And then there, 
It's a bit lame to have a wooden supports there. I mean, I, th I think in space, one would expect there to be like all these super materials, right? All these NASA-like materials. Also, what we're not gonna do is... Uh, that. that seems about right. And then green exit path. And done, nice. Now, I can tell you just this one thing. <laughs> We're definitely going to need uh, handy dudes uh, pretty much dedicated towards this, uh, this ride. Because if we don't, then we'll be in some real serious trouble. <laughs> like, real, real serious trouble. Also, have you guys noticed that the... Uh, the music isn't playing like uh, asynchronically. Oh, look at this. Even the recombobulator became grand. And this became eight and a half. That's so good. That's like seriously good. I like it. Now, um, staff. Yes. Check. And I guess we can do only like this section so that it will cover the most important areas. As for mechanic dudes, the park right now is relatively small. We have uh, two mechanics assigned for fixing this coaster, as this can crash when it breaks down. So, and for the rest we have like three of them. Is that like good enough? I don't know, really. <laughs> we do, a, a, as far as I can tell, we have quite a few rides already. Maybe we should add the or increase the amount of handy dudes that we uh, have in our service. Let's see, what, what do we have for staff wages? It isn't doing much in terms of... Uh, it's, it's only, it, it, it isn't even, it's like 8 or 7% of our monthly, exp uh, well, exp our income, basically. That goes straight up to staff wages. Hmm, so, and, and these are actually, this is also interesting, these are shop sales, and however weird it may seem, they are declining, like, okay, what's wrong with our shop sales, right? I don't know, I mean, we're right now almost the third into October, and we are not even... If we're going along, we won't even reach the 170. Hmm, that's odd, basically. Or are those the umbrellas? Now I'm starting to doubt, because I see food and drink sales going, uh, you know, skyrocketing up. So uh, now I'm not so sure anymore. Ah, uh, well, we'll see. Uh, anyway, um, so as for this, let's set this up quickly. Uh, we need this to be in berserk mode. Uh, are we going to do like a maximum waiting time? I don't think this one will really need it. I think it will be rather popular. Also... I think that we are right now just in time spotting the moment that this, yeah, I'm not paying, yeah, look at that, see, we've spotted it, so now it is time to lower this, and usually we go with two, two bucks, this time we're gonna go down straight to the one buck uh, marker. And you are still attracting gas, so we're good over there. Yeah, like, like I said, you know, once the prices need to go down, we'll have them go down uh, like serious business. So. And that's all to retain the guests longer in our park. So I think we're we're on the right track here. Now, as for the Gravitron's name, why don't we call this... <laughs> uh, th th uh, this is... <laughs> Eve offline. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot resist. <laughs> Uh, this is totally not a parody on something, you know. <laughs> uh, as for the coloring, though, now I'm, we could color this basically however. Uh, let's also do that, you know. Let, let's go and color this however. 
Maybe I do white there. And then like a bright no, let's let's mix it like that and then do that. Let's go with this actually. And then maybe this. This. Ew. That <laughs> even worse. That looks toxic. I like it. We'll we'll have that just because of the toxic looks it has. Not like real toxic, but just like <laughs> pink and purple or lilac and uh, whatever, you know, <laughs> whatever the other color name is. Yeah, that's what we should do. No, that seems good. Is it opened yet? No, but it is now and it has music. So there we are. Now, I think we're ready for our next coaster. And despite, you know, this being not really that filled, I think we have room here uh, for like a uh, b a higher type right? you know, like a jet ski higher or maybe a uh, rowing higher boat uh, thing. We'll have to see though, it's not that big, so we'll have to see how that pans out. But if we are going to build the coaster, and that's what we are going to do, uh, I we're going to get like at least one more thrill ride. The log fume isn't built, we also have a tower, and we're going to get another one. I feel like with uh, thrill rides, we're good. So after this, we're going to research coasters. And I think we should get this, and I think we should get it over here. Now, you might think, like, hey, but there's a coaster here already. And that's true, but at the same time, there isn't, because it's all really high up. I do not intend to go that high with this coaster. So, yeah, what I am thinking we should do is perhaps build these coasters, like, over here. And then have them go below the path. Can we do that? This is height 9, and this is height 12. That, ladies and gentlemen, we can do. Well, that would be kind of cool, if you ask me. And because we would do that, we can then also... Let's see. Oh, that's height 8. So there's no way that if we start at height 10, then so long as we stay at the same height, we're okay to go above the path there, but... <laughs> If we uh, try and go above the path, we need to stay at the same height without pace. So that's not going to happen. But yeah, I think what we should do is build it at height 10 and build it in like this direction. That will make it like more or less unique, right? Yeah, because this over here is like height 15. So there's no need to worry about interference over there. Let's get that sorted. I think that will be a good idea. And then we, we also need to do, of course, is get some path height. Or a uh, height, uh, get some pathing. Path now the pathing path will just go straight. Uh, that's what we need. Uh, let's have that be a till over there. I don't really feel like having the entrance below the path. Just saying. Also, single lying down. Alright, we're gonna do single. It's only 5, so it's 15 right now. Man, not owned by park. It's 21 right now. Alright, I feel like our hand is being forced here. Yeah, look at that. This is max. We have to do this, guys. And I said that this would be for thrill rides and everything, but alas, it is not. I'm aware it is bad. All right, that's how we will uh, build it. Um, now we are gonna do the uh, exit all the way over here. That might seem illogical, but that the, this coast. Oh, oh. <laughs> This coaster is probably going to be able to crash. That might seem like really uh, like, how do you know? But I have a suspicion it will be able to. So we'll have to anticipate for that. Right, now I guess it is time to go up. 
and already we're getting the two high for supports message and we are only at high 40. All right, well that tells me that there isn't much uh, that's going to happen with this coast. Eh? Also, I almost forgot, <laughs> but I didn't. Well, I, I kind of did, but I caught myself in time. Uh, the good practices, huh? And I said also that we would expand this path. Let's do that too. It's a bit expensive. And we also need to expand this area quite a bit further out. I think till like over here or something. Or maybe till over here even. So yeah, that's quite a quite an area. I think for now though we're, we're, we're good. So we can do like uh, something like this. Okay, that's way too quick to do such a thing. That seems good. That seems good. Still a little bit too short for my liking, but. I thought we would get interference from the roller coaster there. But that turns out to be negative. It's okay. Now, what height are we at exactly? Oh, so this is the same height as the. Huh, interesting. Alright, no, cool. I'm taking it, you know. <laughs> Signing it off straight away. There. Alrighty, good, good, good. Got it all sorted. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess it's uh, right construction time right now, right? <laughs> right. Oh, the water coaster. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. We really need that. We're definitely going to build that too. So, what do we do like to as that and then say, please, Scotch. Uh, Scotty would say, you good boy have a lot of terraforming ahead of you. And I would say to her, alright miss, that's all right. <laughs> Though, hold on a second, I think that we are right now trying something that might be a little bit impossible here. Maybe what we should do uh, instead is do an underground section. Yeah, I don't really have like a plan of like, okay guys, this is how I want this coaster to go. I thought it would be cool to do stuff over here, but the way we have this set up at the moment means that we're actually going to do stuff at the uh, real, uh, yeah, like over here. Now that's not a bad, uh, bad thing to have. But if we do that, I, we kind of shouldn't go over here because this is like more or less like a bit of a dead area then. Maybe what we should do is try and go above this and then do some stuff here. Uh, we can always go into the underground and we should. Yeah, I think that is a better idea. So let's do that. Uh, oh wow. We don't have much base here, so we can definitely do something like this. No. But this does work. Now, can we go... Yeah, that's... Not nice. <laughs> wow, okay, so... Can we go like one higher still? And then we should, in theory, also be able to do that. No. Huh? Yes. 
looking better already. How cool would it be if we were to go into the underground, like right over here? What height are we at exactly? We're at height 15. So I would be able to go down one more and be able to traverse safely above the path. Ooh. And in theory, we would be able to go into the underground, like right next over here, right in between these paths. And then do a bit of undergrounding. And then... Oh, that would be really cool. What if we underground and then resurface here? Have ourselves go up. I don't feel like building anything here, so have ourselves go up, down, and then back. Also, back will have to be like this. Uh, because of the way that we have the exit here. There's only one way we can return to the station, no other. So we need to line ourselves up for that. But I think that would be a pr this would be like a pretty solid idea. So let's do that. Let's see that we get this worked out. Also, I believe we can do one earlier. This has been. And then another one. No, wait, 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 wait. We said we would... Did we say here or over here? Maybe we can do the S-Band even sooner. That is not gonna happen. Is it just me or... Is it, are we, we, we are lined up. This tree is just annoying us right now. Hold on a second. Let's 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 do this differently because I feel like we should do an S bend to the right, and then do this. Now we should also be lined up. And we are lined up. Okay, now. Oh yeah, okay, this is definitely the way we want it to be. Look nice. Right. Let's pause it quickly here because. Uh, now the difficult part uh, starts, and that is looking where the F we're building. And where we can and cannot build. So, as far as uh, building in the underground goes, our aim is to uh, escape the terrain over here and do so at height 11 or something, which is what we're currently at. Now I don't think that we can, oh, well actually we can do that. Alright, that's an s to the wrong side. Uh, and this would require the terraform. That was a bit wasteful with the money, but I guess we'll live. Just out of curiosity. Nice. We don't need to terraform anything else. Very nice. Am I even nice? Alright. Good. Now let's see. What can we do now that we are over here? Please don't be in the way. Very cool. So we are currently at height 16. Uh, uh, let us go down to... We, we, get, we are even high enough to go above our own entrance. And currently we're building right above our own station. So that's also good enough. Now that's height 15, so we won't be able to go over there. Which... Might become an issue, come to think of it. Height 13 might even become an issue, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Let's uh, let's S bend it first. Uh, 
Okay, so that's definitely not gonna happen. Let's bend it again. No, that's also not gonna happen. Yeah, I don't think we can really go down that low, you know? Bit uh, problematic, <laughs> but honest. Uh, we'll see. see, I'm trying to line ourselves up for the return towards uh, the station. But it's, uh, it's not going all that smooth. I guess what we'll have to do is some terraforming. So right now, we have the exact space to. Alright, nice. I do hope that this is going to be allowed. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me, it works! Nice! Well, 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 guys, I think this coaster is like uh, really, really gonna be good. So uh, let's test it. Uh, it took us 10 minutes, and look, we're already in March. And it's already nearing the end, so what we should do like pretty soon is... Oh wow, look at that income though. And we're gonna have like another coaster operational soon, TM. <laughs> soon TM. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we should be good with our money to shave off like just a little bit. Because this coaster we built basically without budget. And look, we're still at the same point uh, as where we were when we uh, started construction, so... Uh, should be good, should be good. Anyway, we should test this uh, and charge uh, four bucks. Are we gonna do that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's charge four bucks for this. Uh, and test it. And open it. I don't know if this will be too extreme. There is a chance that this this uh, curve here, because it goes down at quite a bit of pace, is actually a little bit too extreme. But we should have quite a... Maybe... I mean, I haven't really even considered this, but we come from height 20, and then we go to height 17 and down here. There is a chance that we don't even need this lift. I'm not really that familiar with the retention of speed of this type of coaster. But that's something that we're going to find out. Now, as it's opened, uh, we're also going to do space music. What are we going to name this? Well, guys, let me tell you, I have a name for this. Why don't we uh, say this? Um, uh, ozone Packer. That's uh, that's a name, and then of course, as ozone is like some kind of gassy type stuff. <laughs> Are we gonna do this? I mean, let, let's just get the. Oh, I wanted to get the numbers away, and <laughs> instead we have them everywhere. <laughs> Are we gonna do this? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this, and then. Well, I mean, guys, you know, I you know, you know. Ooh. Oh, how cool is this? So now we can have... Oh, are we going to do this or are we going to do uh, different colors per train? We can do that or... Uh, no, we, we have to. But we, we, can, we can make this rather easy, rather simple. I think what we should do is go from dark purple to lighter purple to bright pink right that seems cool and at least I hope <laughs> uh, then what we need to do is set up a fixed mechanic here and we do want a fixed mechanic because oh that's a shame because uh, this uh, this can crash especially at the end there they are entering the station at quite a high pace I'm also aware of that don't worry but you know well it is what it is can't change it, unfortunately. So we have an uh, a uh, designated handy dude. Yeah, I guess all we need to do really is get the uh, is get the test results for the ozone packer. 
But that, guys, is something when we're going to find out next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.